traveling with unknowing thoroughness searching for the depth it emerges and disappears on the surface calm scattering from within swaying to and fro never reaching the way out it is in composed it of it is composed of a perfect uninterrupted pattern there are gaps and tangles and knots slows down rolls and crawls speeds up it swivels and bends thrilled and scared in the mets as the fragments grow close together and the next moment an explosion fluttering from side to side through these smaller units which are a part of something wide something dense it again creeps it again creeps through this fabric of light searching the depth they move further away they seem to repel each other it tumbles and tumbles that push and pull it feels the bulge flattens again bulges excitingly swells up dwindles anxiously scribbling drawings unguided and unafraid it twists and turns tracing patterns along the space which is mesmerizing curving into the bee hive it buzzes intersecting at every buzz carried by the bee it twists into the flowers and coils around the stems it leaps and lands smoothly without any tremble don't trip turn right don't slip switch on 2 3 5 it leaps and it lands it leaps and lands smoothly. smoothly without any tremble freely roams around setting foot into all objects jumping around from dunes to dunes feeling light and weightless living at its own no one to tell what to do no one to tell where to go no one to tell if it's right or wrong just being itself and moving forward making the world its own but at the same time surrendering to the flow having faith in what will be twirling around floating with the flow of wind it spins it reminds me of a toy i played with it balances itself effortlessly leaving a shiver in the spine it bends and curves itself rippling in breezes motion and silence wheeling on agitated guard taking comfort in the serenity gently rises spirals harshly in mid air storms down very rough and tough overwhelmed by the feeling of where to stop in this nerve ending trajectory of back and forth moving until the chaotic helter skelter is drawn up by the threads like a woven shelter it thinks it finds a stable orbit for every For relative, every relative fragment, fragment of one, of one thing, thing is a full harmonious unit in itself entering with an involuntary step avoiding the corner lifting its leg walking across leaving it far behind going up now minding its head there's a slope take it slow do it all over again twisting on every tree it chases the squirrels and twirls around them it tries to fly like a bird leaping high in the air it sees the hill and takes a sharp turn encircling the hill it reaches to the top it waits there for a minute it dives into the fountain and rolls around in the grass playing with the mud rolling down the large dunes gliding over the sand feeling the texture of the soft lumpy sand over my body hearing the hot winds and sand grains in it walking across those tiny grains of semi dry sand awakening the nerve ending in each foot foot sinking each time i put it down lifting up the sand and moving it the height of the dunes creating disturbance in the wind leading to instability settling and unsettling prolongs forcing to exert itself through and through moving through them is hypnotic dense and empty light and dark all these juxtapose one another to give a spark the gesture and the positions are hard to understand but you can feel the energy dancing around barefoot feeling the sand tracing the movement the thumping of the feet matches the rhythm of my heart beats shivers in my spine moving and spinning at the same time 
it takes me a second to digest what I saw, even though it was right before my eyes. Fragment after fragment, it makes sense of everything. Fragment after fragment, it travels the realm. Fragment after fragment, it evolves. Came across an unknown place, boundless and vast, perceiving a strange, alluring warmth, flows like amber and folds like a silk, diving inside, not knowing fear. My entire body starts connecting to the ground, making it experience every crest and trough. Running, trailing. My dozen spines covered with scaly skin, connected at a point, spread all over the landscape. Slithering, wiggling, rattling. All the spines appear like they are crawling radially downwards from the highest peak of the landscape, flowing like rivers melting from glaciers. The longest dorsal is coiled up around the next undulation like the threads of a screw, following whom one crawls down the acclivity in a similar spiral. Sidewinding, fluttering. As I went lower in altitude, I shed my skin to display my new skills. The fourth spine reaches the base only to start moving vertically upwards as if reaching for the moon, running parallel to the growth of the tall flora. The serpent beside it frequently changes its direction, unsure if it wants to reach the narrow valley where another vertebrae is ready to climb its next summit. With all my spines cloaking the landscape in a manner that the closeness to the surface allows me to sense every pulse. Feeling and absorbing across the terrain. Run front. Do it gradually. Don't rush it. A strange sensation. Nothing stable. Run back. Slunk along. Tail between legs. Whimpering and frightened. Fell inside. Everything was moving. Floating and sinking at the same time. Creating one more group. Stay balanced. Hold your ground. Don't be afraid. The unfamiliar surroundings force themselves against mm -hmm. big body, engulfing it between a new ridge. Started to flow along. Quick, in position. The path was full of slides, swirls, ups and downs, separated by edges. Be in form. Keep moving. Do it in a flow. Head started spinning. Felt sick. Sometimes soothing, sometimes disturbing. You can do this. It was adventurous. Push yourself. You can do better. Uncertainties were numerous, yet not as much as the fringes throughout the landscape. Trying to attain stability and fluctuations. Suddenly sent strong waves coming. Body was frozen, fainted for a while. After some time, got consciousness back. Vision was not clear, whole body ache. Fobly legs and numb body tried to regain control. Focus, focus. Come on, focus. Blink eyes several times to get rid of blurriness. Let me out. Let me out. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. All the rustles, so deafening. Voices in my head felt like whispers. Sweetest I've ever heard. Boundaries blurred of scales, of cracks, of burns, edges penetrating me, first one, two, and all at once. Those stood on my spines, they kept me down, the dread of being dead and cold. Until I could no longer breathe, the terror of end to cold. Stay conscious, be in control. What if I'm out? In light, my body could no longer unravel itself. In shadows, it forgot what distance is like. Their edges, engraving my skin, piercing my flesh, my bones, first one, two and all at once. Shaping me, crippling my bones, trying to pull me down. It hurts. It hurts. Stop. 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 It hurts. It hurts. Tried to loosen myself.
Watch the edge. Tread cautiously. To make me exist in this dystopia, insanity growing, loosen up and lose yourself. Never know what's on the other side. Climb, climb to the other side. Still alone, in the valleys of doom. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Suffering in suffocation, in the cocoon of flesh. Do you know who you are? Lost in shadows, in time, in depressions, in isolation. First one, two, and all at once. Sitting alone, suffocating. My shadows against the folds, half sunken, tried to crawl ahead. Don't stop. Keep moving. Trying to move, to breathe. I dig through the trench, following a new trail. Make your move. Putting a crease onto the stretch and running along the line. The concept of the world outside was a blur for me. Lights up, and I'll know who I am. One thing is certain. I won't be the same being who walked in. Do you do it right? Tried to climb up the pick, slipped, slid down, fell, sat, whimpered, crumbled, cried, sunk, screamed, gave up, went to sleep. Okay, the same routine. Tried to climb up the pick, reached the top, laughed, hopped, explored, danced, skipped. Floated, sat, relaxed, climbed down the pick, delighted, went to sleep. Okay, one more time. Tried to climb up the pick, slipped, slid down, tried again, fell, sat, whimpered, crumbled, cried, sunk, screamed, gave up, went to sleep. This has been the routine for many years. Never met anyone new, and now found comfort living with myself. Looking back, I see the landscape change with my movement. New paths like streaks across the terrain, continuing with every passing moment. Swirling about the woods, million molecules of earth wet massaging, squishy between toes, slipping the surly bond of earth surface, clock and heartbeat ticking with a known pace, soft coats fur, soft as rugs, scratching bodies. Are these spiders? We ground unaware of threatening atmosphere. What is this edge? As I crumple a sheet of paper. A corner lightly cuts my finger. My voice feels like flute. The rhythm is the only sound, all blended, making me feel incommodious. Are these rocks? Gaffer sapped, slanderous tongues, endeavoring questions unanswered. Is this pretense? Meandering up and down with a fear of stumble. locking the toes tightly in a spirit to chase elegance wandering to orient myself galaxy inside a small bewoke are these pipes all expecting me to do something is this a paradox on a delicate isle intense echoes everywhere taking notes as curious touch advances keeping the toes perpendicular Ruffin satin is this cat's persian fur her clever solution sharp perception is it assured twirling around the somber goosebumps on knuckle hair dirt filled cracks on a delicate balance sharp stringing slit is this cactus take my hand let's up scown The lift is precious. Is this trust? Swaying breath, whimper of the wind, cheerful, hiding her insecurity, fear. Thousand eyes, thousand cups, all pointing me, in flaming heat wave of passion, smoothing fabric with wrinkled hands, caressing glabular lines, 
Are these creators? Journey of adventures begin, mister. Is this swindle? My hands have become raw. The constant digging has made me complacent. Do I cherish what remains? A constant that always keeps its promise. A burn that is slowly fading. Will the phoenix rise? No more blankets denying hallucinations. Is this resurrection? Elapsing the obvious, drunk, tears swarm, her external silence. In the dark, I seek my light through the sense of touch. Ridges, rough edges, changing its shape at every step. Is this a dust jacket? Tickling gripply, is the day done? Water's offspring, devastating fire, coating of butter on toast, decadent under me. My fingers curl into a fist, I through cataract painted on, get right up next to you, as they try and hide, been waiting to see light. Is this a beach? Hopeful place to rest, is this fantasy? Perceiving each step, steep foothold, crawling like a bug, curled in disdain, gasping for breath, reaching the summit. Are these diamonds crushing under the silhouette? Is this emancipation? Simplicities of pleasure, vixen, deep scars, reading empty eloquences, people Pressing me in on all sides, a sense of amiable touch. Ink flows out of my brain through my blood vessels, protecting from the caw of the mocking people. Is this mother's cuddle, groove, move, dance around? Is this voracious? Invariably becoming a part of me, broken by the fragments of touch. I have been waiting to see light. Empty room echoes in my empty heart. And my loneliness echoes in this empty room. So far in, I am beyond. Heartbeat meter correspond. Is this a dead space? Stocket belt unaccustomed. Is this solitude? Golden miles of dawn. Slicky morning dew, wedging up to the toenails, breathing the lane of ferry, tenderly gliding, white shirt hiding belly, enjoying the tea. Is this grass? Fortuitous beginning? Is this tranquility? The new skin decorates your body, only for someone to bruise it all over again. Living marks of grief, becoming deeper and deeper. You place the tip of your tongue on the naked surface of your skin. It tastes like all the battles you have won. Is this the first ray of light kissing my skin? Experiencing politeness in dynamic weather. Is this an epiphany? Dopamine planning, binge watching, moving on, leaving his fears, tears, her silence spoke, topping the windswept height with easy grace. Friction of friction, your magic transforms, but the frown falls down. Is this a blanket in shivering cold? Hat, check, sunglasses, check, ready for beach, is this ecstasy? This, this maze is probably just a One test, last try. maybe my imagination, or maybe Spin a nightmare. Around. This is an endless puzzle. 
How did I get stuck Walk here? Steadily. What should I do now? Ah, that's what a nice place to enjoy my tea. Feeling. What are you doing? Stretch out. I am having a hard time. This seems like a safe place. Check I am so tired. I need to lie down. Me. But this may not be a safe place. What does it look like I'm doing? I can't handle this. Why can't they be quiet? Time is at a standstill. Certain. A heavy brooding I'm silence descending on it. I'm moving, but Break it feels like no actual hours or moments have passed. The light here is disturbing my sleep. Gosh. Wish it was calmer here. Together, I might fall down. What 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 are these Stretch lights? Out. This is disturbing me. I I am f- feeling unwell. Around. What is this place? Everything is Open changing. The curtain. The water feels quite nice, doesn't it? What water? What are you talking about? Unmute. The water Unmute. right here. Don't you want to dip your toes in it? Stay. There is no water in here. The moment. Maybe. Maybe not. I feel myself getting dissolved into this warmth. Are we really alone in this vast universe? Feel like dancing. The light is too bright. Moves like dandelions. Orchestra of the world. I don't want to get out of this. Play some music. So many things, too many thoughts, overcrowding my calm, one by one. Snap out. Each and every stretch feels like a new level of terror. Run faster. Drifting further away from my thoughts. All Take I can do is feel the chaos as I move around. Hop, skip, and jump. What was that noise? Are they just a voices yes, in my yeah. head? Who's yeah, there? Hopefully. The wind here is very strong. Feels like I am being pulled into a cyclone. What what is this flow? I I am so confused. I I don't know what to do. Where, where is this going to take me? Ahead. Float away and gaze at the terrain. Wear a mask. Vicar turmeric, nahi cosmetic. Let's weave it together, shall we? My senses don't feel agile. Okay. One more time. The same routine. That's what she said. Who is making that noise? Meow. These shadows seem scary. Have you felt the texture of this cloth? I am so bored. Add ginger, lemon and cinnamon to hot water. These people seem so confused. Shut, Shut up. up. Why do I feel trapped all the time? Tell me, what's wrong? I need new shoes. When will I get oh, my no. life together? Should I go left or am, right? Am I always going to be this lost? This will be over soon. I I I don't like this room. I want to stay here at all. One last time. Get me out of here. I am here to help. Why can't you listen to me? I won't repeat again. Whoa, Why like don't you understand? What do you think of yourself? Please stop screaming. Just do as I say. This is getting Will overwhelming. Oh, I'm so done. I'm leaving. The breeze feels nice. Doesn't it? Hello, I'm talking to you. Sorry, I got a little lost. What were you saying? Never mind. It is fairly quiet, isn't it? Something feels missing. Yes, 
The silence is making me go crazy. I am still here. Idiots. I feel very confident in what I am doing and do not care about what other people think. This is great. I feel so joyful. Am I supposed to wash those flowers? I want to be here. It's a wonderful place. Control, stability and schedule is the most important thing to me. Let's talk about books. I have so much to say. I am lost but also mesmerized. Uh who who is at the door? I know exactly where to go. I am adapting to this awe inspiring surrounding. Next time I'm going to stand up to my bullies. In 300 meters? Mm, I don't know. My brain is rolling in a wave of black. Feels like a lift to a permanent high. Uncontrollable forms dancing and floating on the spur of the moment. The light hurts my eyes. The air feels dense. Why do I constantly feel like a misfit? Even though this is a nice space, I still feel so uncomfortable. I wish I could feel at peace for once. This Can keeps getting worse. The noise is deafening. I wish I wasn't alone through all this. Pounding heart, heavy breath. Why am I like this? Why cannot I be normal and just talk to people like they talk to me? Why is it so hard to do things other people can do with such ease? Do other people feel the same as I do? Should they also feel lonely in a crowd? But numb thoughts. Close your eyes. What am I going to do? I'm stuck here forever. This maze is never ending and I can feel the anxiety clouding my vision. I, I should no have told someone what, what was happening, happening to, me. to me. I wanted Don't to run it. away from here. I could not find Then a way out. Then came the thought of running deeper into the unhindered exploration. You just crossed all the senses stretching endlessly. My mind had decided to take a pause. I could not reach the end for I don't know There where it was. There is so much was. going on here. I don't know what to do. Even though it is scary, I feel quite at peace here. landed with a thump but oblivious about the place looked around just to see a pitch black space a moment flickered there by a swish of light and a flick of shadow in that moment a pack of shadows of some floating objects was casted just then the rays of light illuminating the space went dark and the beautifully contoured pattern turned pitch black The place was blindingly dark but numerous unknown objects to stumble upon were littered across the space The darkness became bearable to the eye as the surrounding objects had gingerly lighted up due to a mild light Textures and surfaces could be felt and understood all of their textures and sensations differed Some were cool some were brittle and had a powdery and grainy texture Some were smooth and silky. Some were ouch, pointy and cause swelling. Some felt ew, gross, uh, squishy, can make anyone feel disgusted. The mild light became brighter and the forms of those objects started becoming evident. Finally, the space was lit enough to move around. And with that, the shadowed contour returned. The patterns look be sprinkled across the whole space and a certain calmness echoed there. But suddenly something moved. No sound nor any change. Almost like a hallucination. But there was a sense of movement strong enough to take notice of. Seconds ticked by without another sign of movement. But then A different movement arose in another direction causing a curious gaze shift. Everything else was as static as before. 
Maybe it was just a mind trick or just another shadow. On a close inspection, it looked like a deformation stirring up. But one flick of light and suddenly all turned static again. Another pack of fascinating shadows appeared. A dash of light slid through that shadow and grazed the skin. Intangible but within reach. Soft, warm and comforting. But soon it was engulfed by another shadow. This one had a cool, soothing and relaxing sensation. It was an invisible spirit, a constant companion. Had no standard form, variable but taut, changeable but free. In every possible direction, its presence was embossed everywhere. Though the glittering light was bright and strong, the shade caster was more alluring and intriguing. Walking ahead, guided by the light to what appeared to be a garden, dark yet beautiful. Still moving ahead and browsing around, a loud crumpling noise pierced the silence. The sudden violent gust of noise was scary, but soon the harsh, loud noise turned into a distant echo. Fear rushed in, legs moved instinctively and soon found a niche big enough to hide. Dark and a compact place, scarce amount of air. The only good thing was that those noises were somehow enabled to enter that little niche. So, after a few silent minutes, there was no other choice but to get out of there. The place seemed quieter, just soft, distant echoes. Just then, a sudden pang of ear-piercing noises violently swirled in. The sound stopped abruptly, leaving behind a curious thumping heart. The ribbons of light twirled and floated around, creating light and dark patterns that had interesting overlapping patterns on the ground. Patterns kept changing their intensities and shapes. The path seemed infinite but indulging. And so, the browsing and wandering continued. The terrain stretching endlessly was dark and sharply chiseled, bewitched by a deafening silence which swayed the scenery in front of it. In the dead of the night, something stirred in the darkness. The intruding wind and its muffled diffusion took over the piercing silence and enhanced the bits and pieces of leftover silence. Soon, the wind became unsettling and was howling ferociously. The trees were swaying with the winds. Under the stars, one could hear the sound moving swiftly 
cutting through the wind up in the hills in the passes and over the mountain across the field gushing down the river here and there everywhere clear to the wilderness as the moon traveled from the northwest to the northeast voices reigned the night conquering everything beneath The stillness of the rocky landscape was disturbed by the muffled voices in the wake of the night. The sound traveled with a rhythm that touched and brushed past everything in its path. The rhythm and structure of the vibrations altered the surfaces as it strayed along. The movement and static, the disturbance and calmness, the distance between them had merged into one another. It felt as if the land beneath had changed position. As the winds oscillated, the mountain seemed to surrender to its might, and moved as the sharp wind moulded the rock for it. Everything suddenly became smeared into obscurity, blemished, a blur. The background hazed with noises. The background hazed with noises. As the motion was set, the domain disintegrated, a blur. the walls slowly closed in and the geometry of the habitat was constantly in flux the walls of the world the walls of deformed the world deformed bulging, bulging shattering. shattering the expanse tearing itself the expanse apart. tearing itself apart oh no, oh, no. jump over the pit jump over the pit wait 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 quickly run Listen carefully. Alas, Alas. fork in the road. the road. Avoid, Avoid the, pit. the pit. Sharp left ahead. Continue on your path. You are almost there. Don't go, Don't there. go there. Walk away, Walk from, away you. from you. Follow the sound. Follow the sound. Do not touch the tree. Stay and bothered by the noise. Not sure what lies ahead. Tread carefully. Do not turn back. Are you scared? Don't be. The land is rocky. Don't fall. Who is that walking alone in the dark? Are you sure you don't want to stop? It is It so is dark in you. The sound merged with the skin mm. and the confines of the atmosphere closely surrounded the body. One could hear the overlaying syllables while puffs of wind hit the skin, painting a picture with whispers. The body providing a shield a safe house for the rhythm to survive the sound pulsated through the body in and out contained by the armor full of movements ensuring survival of the beats coursing through the veins body as, as the a sound home. moved through the cracks and crevices swelling to fill the space available whispers creeping in it moved towards uncertainty but seemed to have a direction space becomes its container You know it, but I've never seen it. Feel it, but I've never touched it. Each time the heart beats, it feels as if it is trying to talk. What is this place? This system I have found myself in. What lies ahead? Unbothered, it shivers into a vanness. Stay still, but stay moving, and breathe. Butterflies in their belly find their way out. Beautiful chaos unfolding. It's writhing, coiling, and spiraling into itself. What names does it answer to? The light shines bright through the maddening crowd. Reach out and grab it. Spiral away with these beams of the sun and think, are you really alone? 
even though at risk try learning something new it does not matter if you are alone nothing and everything this path this jungle it's alive and festering move across the swamp the walls are closing in walls of light and shadow the walls seemed to close in upon you like the terrain embraced you like i was flowing through assimilating in it 10000 eyes stare on 5000 tongues applaud each time the light cuts the shadow embrace it but don't get tangled in this melancholy they'll make you think of things unknown but you've been lost before no be confident start by setting it all up first cautious stay attentive all the proportion should be precise think of plan strategize irrespective of time stay focused relax its senses were agile perceiving the ambience reposing and twirling assimilating and stabilizing inhabiting and experiencing feeling and absorbing it was perceiving the volume perhaps sensing the boundless stretch hazy glare calm vastness high tech expanse scary dimness soothing textures rhythmic patterns gradual levels adapting the surroundings and resonating with it it muttered to itself the sight makes me want it leering myself over holding it with my small spikes being on top pressing hard with my pokey surface slowly i began to roll the intensity increased making me thrilled feel sharp in spite of being blunt i hope it turns out as expected i can't wait for this and fidgeting expectations believes presumption is it worthy protect it don't let it get damaged oh damn hands are sore last two attempts were fail i am awful at this it will be pleasant here yeah, to fling wide the windows pinching the fingers in unfamiliar fastenings to lean out into the sunshine with beautiful hills trees and marble churches the arno gurgling against the embankment of the road look out at the night that envelops the house through the glass of the little skylight where you saw a square of blue infinity and now you're on your back in the dark what was i doing feels familiar hazy visual drain exhausted my feet are on autopilot as i weave myself in this terrain move freely across the sea of black and white relax breathe these complex terrains should guide you well trust your instincts senses guided the body by whispering hey it's calm settle down the body responded it was in relief experiencing and feeling attaining composure it had started taking form a form reflecting its stimulus stimulating itself with the intensity of resonation the intensities of vastness increased with its gaze textures with its details glare with light levels with sight the body molding itself with the amending atmosphere placing myself over chills running all over me feeling heavy from within there's dampness all over it pushing myself a little in and we were both afloat the damp terrain never fails to make me feel wanted and absorbed float away and gaze at the terrain glowing with the light the continuance in the place where everything reminded of former delight yes i can do it let's enjoy it i think it's the right decision mission control we are going for launch a lot they're using weights instead of volumes homogenize blend assemble do it even if it's puzzling motivated to do more one teaspoon two cups three pinches namak swad anusar grains like old friends like glistening photographs they associated places with memories and stories created over there yes but memories fade he would say that things cannot be other than as they are it had nevertheless a mysterious property of a kind put back into the mind it became an over exciting and important expanding and contracting bulging and flattening twisting and turning consistently altering its form with the resonating surroundings the excitement to experience it all makes my surface pound with acceleration and felicity i was completely surrounded it was all around me covering me in itself 
the misty part always makes me feel lost and disappeared in it the softness of the atmosphere never forgets to make me float in itself it had inhabited and adapted itself to float the habitat looks clean though it's not the only chance of renovation is to open our eyes and embrace the mess this is like a cycle of experience for me losing myself in the soft mist and finding myself again on the damp terrain harnessing such an oblivion atmosphere is ineffable sometimes i appear sometimes disappear